Hello, and welcome back to Bad Succulents, where today we will be talking about how to plant and care for your succulent plants. First thing you must know about succulents is that they are desert plants. No, I'm just kidding. We're here to talk about obviously film again. But today I have something special for you. I don't. I lied. But what I do have is I have a review for you today. Usually I talk about cameras that have no expert controls. Little point and shoots that you just and whoop, not today. Today, we are going to be talking about this beast of a camera. This is the Canon EOS 1N. Pa, 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 pa. That got really close to the lens there. These two lenses could have kissed each other. <gasps> so serious, this beast of a camera right here, it's so, it's so good. Like one of my favorite cameras. Now, yeah, it's it's big, it's heavy, it's it's kind of, <laughs> it has a lot of function. It just works when you want it to, especially if you get this thing down, like this thing in your hand feels amazing. It's like when you go to Home Depot, cause you're about to, you know, you gotta do some woodworking, some heavy labor, and you slip on one of those gloves and you're like, mm. that's what this camera feels like. I've taken this camera a lot of places. This camera was my go-to for India when I went to India this past February. <laughs> It was great because I took my Sony with an EOS adapter and I had two lenses and I had this guy and if I want to shoot digital, I could shoot with these EF lenses and if I want to shoot film, which I shot film mostly, uh, I could use this guy. So I went up to Ventura with your very special grainy days and uh, a dude from the internet that didn't murder us named Andrew. Hi Andrew, if you're watching, hey! Then we, we shot some film in Ventura and so I decided like why not take why not take this guy with me and, and do a review? So let's go through some of the features and I'll show you some images and you can, you know, make fun of me for f***ing up the images by the way that I did and I, I did because let's, well. <sighs> hey guys. Um... I know you might think I'm perfect, but the truth is I'm not. Uh, when I went up to Ventura, I shot Kodak 800. I love Kodak 800. It's like a mwah. When I came back to develop, I overextended my chemicals and everything turned out uh, just a tad bit green in the highlights. I just should have used new chemicals and I was lazy and I didn't get any new ones. And I thought, hey, maybe it'll work out for the best. And it, uh, I mean, I actually think it did. Yeah, sure. Jason looks a little sickly, like he just puked everywhere and the highlights weren't really recoverable um, in some instances, but it actually gives this really cool look to it, this green tint look. So uh, I'm actually okay with it. Cause well, you know, why, why have perfect images all the time? Dirty them up, put them in the ground, put them in the oven, throw them at your neighbor Bob. I, I don't know what that would do, but maybe he'll spit on it and it might do something. I, I don't know. Let's dive into this bad boy. Where do I start with such an uh, amazing camera? Well, maybe get this mouse out of the way. Maybe I'll do that. And field notes, I, mean, I don't need this. We just, we just want this, we want this beautiful thing. How do you turn it on? The back, right here. Boop, 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 boop. A for on. Or you have this beeping for I'll beep when you're in focus. A little backstory. This camera was the second one. That's why it has the N for next. Came out in 1994. It's EF mount, so your uh, your glass can work if you're a Canon person, which is perfect for me. I actually had this bad boy. 
This was my very first digital SLR camera, the EOS 60D. I bought this for filmmaking purposes. I sold my Xbox 360 for this. So I had Canon glass already. So it, was, it made it perfect to get this camera in here. It does actually have autofocus on it. it. Has five autofocus points. There's center weighted, there's selectable spot, and there's central spot. The ISO range is from six to 6,400. Um, it's DX coded, so you just pop it in and read it up. You can, however, select it. So if you have control over the ISO as well, we'll get there, we'll talk about that. There's an XSeq port. You can do flash, one over 250, but the shutter speeds range from 30 to one eight thousandths of a second. Now, I have to say, my favorite, absolute favorite thing about this camera is that the shutter speed is one over eight thousand. That is the best thing about this camera, hands down. That is why you can get 800 speed film and shoot it in the bright ass daylight. Pop, 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 boom. Don't even worry about it. Number one. Uh, it also has 14 custom functions, which I barely use, but uh, is there. Usually this bad, this bad boy, um, you just wind it, wind it, wind it. No, I don't wanna take it off. So it usually takes two CR2 batteries, or if you get the battery grip, which I highly recommend, it uh, takes eight AA batteries. Yeah, that's a lot, but at least you don't have to buy those stupid CR2 batteries. They're they're completely irrelevant now, so uh, It can shoot uh, six frames a second. I thought it was 10, but it's six. But you know what, I don't, I don't go shooting sports with it, so I don't really care. And then you can also do some auto bracketing as well. So you're gonna go pop and it goes ching ching, ching ching. $125 for the body of this baby. How, how, how can you go wrong? You can't go wrong. Let's do some wrapping, okay? We're gonna wrap. So you turn it on, A, A's for on. Who would have known, I guess. This is where it all happens. This is where the magic happens. You have to kind of do this like two finger jab to get to some of these things, which is fine. I don't really care. Here's your, your sync port. You open up and load by clicking this button and then there's this little tab right here. Just go bloop, pink. It pops open just like uh, my fly when I have to pee. Put the film in and blink and it's DX coded. Like I said, I'm not gonna put film in here cause um, I, don't, I don't want to. And that, honestly, that's the easiest part of doing this. So then after you put it in, you turn it on and it goes and it loads for you. There you go. So to choose ISO from that point, you can hit this button right here. You see these two arrows designating to hit those two at the same time. ISO pops up and you choose what you want over here. So this little this little window here is obviously kind of where all the fun stuff happens. You can choose your mode by hitting this button, uh, whether it's M, TV uh, for shutter priority, uh, bulb mode for, I'm gonna keep you open all night long. P for program, I uh, let the camera do everything for you. Then you delay, it's the laziest mode of them all. AV, which is aperture priority, uh, and M for, my God, you know what you're doing. You're operating the stick shift version of this camera. M for manual transmission. And then you have your spot modes right here, your metering and spot modes. I keep it to the wide one, I don't know. The light meter in here is actually pretty decent. Um, so I use that a lot. You have multiple exposures too. Right now there's a one, you can hit these guys right here and you can you can do some multiple exposures now. Just go crazy with it. I don't, I've, I've actually never used that before. So maybe I should have. There's also this, a, the AF button over here. It goes between one shot, uh, AI servo shot. So one shot is when you're about to just like uh, shoot a model. Now with a gun, come on guys, rude. You have them all set up and you're like, I'm gonna take, I'm gonna focus on you. Half press, full press, we're, we're playing the same game. Everyone knows that. And then it literally will not take a photo if you're not in focus. One shot says, uh, uh, uh. uh and then AI servo is like, if you're gonna shoot a dog or some and, uh, and then you're like, oh, you're moving everywhere. And oh my God, you have so much energy and <laughs> why? I, I use that one a lot because I'm, you know, it, it's, it's a kind of a faster, you will be able to take a photo if it's out of focus. So sure, that sucks. But do your job. That's what you're here for. It's kind of this area. We're gonna move over here. This is your LCD. So right here, this is your shutter speed dial. So on manual transmission mode, you can do your shutter speed up here. Whee! And then when this little lever back here is set to I, this is your um, aperture. So yeah, shutter speed. And then you have your, um, right here, you got your plus and your minus. So you can set your, your brackets. So now I'm on AV right here. You can you can hit this button. You can say, hey, do I want to be overexposed or do I, do I want to be underexposed? And you can kind of set that by hitting this plus and minus and then just uh, going around on this wheel right here and you know, whatever. So uh, sometimes I do like to have it and I'm lazy and I put it in 
aperture priority mode because I usually like to pick the lowest aperture. I'd set it for that and then just let the shutter speed do its thing. Party on. It has five focus points in, in this LCD here. And then you can hit this button and you can basically tell it like, you know, where you want to focus. Do you want to make sure that you have all of them focusing? Do you want to make sure that you have the left one or the right one or, you know, or the center? I keep it center usually because it's, it's easy enough to just go boop, focus, you know, reframe. Uh, rewind. If you want to rewind prior, if you're just like, I shot two photos and uh, I'm tired of it. This little barn door over here is uh, where all your fun, special things are at. These are where your custom functions live. Uh, you can check your battery level here. Three bars. It's good stuff. Lower bars means bad stuff. Another thing about the batteries in here, I've had these same batteries in this camera for two years. This is so low power. It's phenomenal. Beautiful. In here is where you choose your high frame rates. Like if you want to shoot six frames a second, you can also do self timers, two and 10 second self timers. If you hit drive and then you use your um, your wheel up here, you can you can tell it uh, what you want. So I haven't actually done it yet, but I this last time I tried, it's, it's so cool. So usually when you rewind in a manual camera, like, you know, um, not that guy, uh, but like, you know, my handy dandy Minolta. We'll talk about him someday. I bring this guy out a lot and I haven't I haven't reviewed it yet. And I know you're dying for it. But like this, you know, you rewind it, ooh, you can't get the little the, the little tip out. Tip stays in. So, bye. It's a little turtle. Uh, but this guy, you can set it to so that it leaves uh, just the tip. Mm, and we can play that game. That's really cool because like, you know, I develop my own stuff and I, I already, I want the tip out. It's easy to grab. I don't have to go in fishing for it. That's a cool function. And yeah, like this is just a solid ass cam. Ass cam. There's a lot of other like uh, functions in this little function menu thing here. I, I'm just gonna leave a link in the description below about all that fun stuff. Cause there's, there's just a lot and I don't really feel like going through them all because I don't honestly use them. I still use most of my cameras the same way. Manual mode. And so so why get this? If I'm just gonna use this guy and and this guy the same. Well, this one, you feel like a badass carrying it around. And the lenses, you get EF lenses. So like I said, interchangeable, very nice. This also has a thousand of a second shutter speed. That alone is worth this camera. Autofocus is really handy. The ability for EF lenses, the different modes. Like overall, this is a super solid camera and I'm in love with it. This is an amazing camera. I have no jokes for you on that one. I've held a few cameras of this caliber. This one just fits perfectly in the hand. Like no other camera has felt this good horizontally and vertically. Like this camera, best feeling camera ever. Let's talk about this. So when you're looking in this screen here, you'll see your shutter speed at the bottom of the window and you'll see your aperture at the bottom of the window. And then you'll have a bar, a meter at the side showing you how over or underexposed you are. So for me, how I personally shoot this camera, usually I'm on manual mode, right? And then I'll look through the lens and I'll focus up and then I'll see where on the side my exposure is and I'll just adjust the shutter speed because it's right up here. It's really easy to adjust and I'll just adjust for the exposure. If however, I'm like maxing out, I'm like eight thousandths of a second, uh, this back guy, I just, you know, change, I change it. I'm like, okay, cool. Well now I'm at F14 and now I can shoot. So that's kind of how I shoot this guy. So now I'm going to show you some of those f***ed up green shots that uh, I shot in Ventura and, you know, judge me. Tell me in the comments below if you, uh, you liked the weird green look. Maybe I'll figure out someday how I messed up and then I'll do like a little tutorial on how you can mess up too. Have I convinced you yet to get this camera?
You know, I've never really been a huge Canon camera fanboy. Not because I've hated them by any means. Obviously, I've had a few, and Canon got this one right. Canon completely killed it on this. This is, you know, obviously not the last uh, 35 millimeter film camera they made. You know, they made the 1V in 2000. They're all just increments of a better camera and they all kind of share the same thing. This this camera, you know, I wouldn't trade it for the world. But I hope I've convinced you to buy this camera because uh, honestly, it's, it's pretty amazing. Boom, 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 boom. Buy it. So that's about it for today. Maybe next week we will talk about succulents. Hopefully mine don't die. I just started, so it's kind of awkward. Maybe I should look up some YouTube videos on how to keep them, keep them going strong.